Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a neat little underwater effect. This isn't gonna be some, you know, Hollywood level CGI rendering or anything. It's just gonna be something we can accomplish in Premiere Pro. And for a lot of different, just small situations, this can work fine to sort of emulate an underwater scene really, really quickly. So this is what we're gonna be creating. This is the before right here, and then it's just going to go into the after like this. And as you can see, you know, it's a little cheesy. It's a little, um, like I said, not the most professional Hollywood looking, but it's a fun effect to create, and you can have some fun with it if you're doing like a vacation vlog or something like that. So that's what we're gonna be creating today. Let's get started. What we need to do is create ourselves a new sequence. So just file new sequence. Okay, and then what I have here is I just have uh, footage blurry video of people working. Got it off of videos.pexels.com, and let's grab this one uh, right here. And then I'm just gonna change the sequence settings to fit. And you'll notice that the it just exactly as it says, just blurry background people working right like so. And what we wanna do is we want to build the effect on top of this. Now the first thing I would typically do is blur the background just a little bit because whenever you look through water, it's gonna be a little bit blurry. However, as you can notice right here, uh, the background is already really, really blurred. So I'm not going to do that. However, if you wanted to, just go over here into the effects, search for blur, under blur and sharpen, use something like camera blur if we just drag that on there. We can just drag this around and sort of blur it and then just give it a little bit of blur so you get to you get it looking a little bit like this right here after that we need to do some color adjustments so what we can do is what i did was create a couple of adjustment layers so if we go into here we can create a new item and we can do adjustment layer and click ok on that and let's rename this so we don't get them all you know mixed up so this will be like a blue layer and if we drag this on above the footage like so trim it down so it fits and then what we're going to do is we can click on the color panel or we can go into effects and then go into lumetri and search for the lumetri color um you need to type it all the way out there we go search for lumetri color and just drag that on and then you can affect uh, edit it over here we're just going to use this one on the right here what i'm just going to do is drag the shadow tint down drag the highlights down until we get this sort of blue, give it a little bit of faded film. That's just gonna sort of like blur off so it isn't as sharp because whenever you look through water, it diffuses a little bit, the light. So I just wanna recreate that diffusion. So you know, this is max, it's not that much diffuse, but maybe like right about there, the black sort of diffuse a little bit with that. Maybe we wanna reduce the sharpening a little bit as well. Um, again, everything gets blurry and sort of murky in water. And overall, that's looking pretty good right here. Now, to I don't think this is you know as intense as I want it to be. So what I did was I just duplicated this layer again. If you click on this, hold the Alt key, and drag one more up, you get this. Basically, it's going to do exactly that. It's going to duplicate this layer up, and then now we have a sort of a deeper blue. And I think this looks a little bit more in tune with what colors or what the uh, underwater color might look like. The next step that we need to add is we need to add that sort of the, the waviness that we had in this one. See how everything's like sort of, you know, underwater wavy. To do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create ourselves another adjustment layer. So we're gonna go down here, file, new, or just this little new item button, adjustment layer, click okay, right click on it, and we're gonna rename this to keep ourselves organized as, um, I'm just gonna name it what it's going to be, which is turbulent displacement. And what this is gonna do is when we drag this on here, we're going to look for an effect in our effects called Turbulent Displace. It's under Video Effects, Distort, and then Turbulent Displace right here. We're gonna take that and drag it onto the adjustment layer. And what this is gonna do is it's going to, as you can see right here, it displaces everything. It makes it this sort of waviness that you know you might find in water. And you can reduce the size so you can make them a little bit more uh, water-like by bring this down to like 35, you can see that there's the, the circles of the displacement are really, really small. If you go to like really large, you only have like a little curve here and a little curve there. So it's your choice on how you wanna do this. I'm gonna bring them down uh, decently small, maybe like I said, right around 35. And then what we wanna do is we want to animate the evolution right here. So if we click on this toggle animation button and then move over maybe like to the end, maybe about 10 seconds, we wanna drag this as to about maybe three revolutions where it says three times and then really any number on the right side there is good. And then we just wanna watch it. Is this displacing fast enough? And yeah, that looks pretty water-like. Maybe we wanna increase the size a little bit. 
um, jump over here and just a little bit more, maybe about four revolutions. And yeah, now we got some good like water effect going on right here. So the best effects are accomplished with the little details. So this is sort of the majority of the effect, but now let's sort of clean this up and make it look really, really sort of uh, higher end, make it a little bit more believable. And to do that, what I did was I just searched on YouTube for a bubble overlay, uh, underwater bubble overlay, and I actually found exactly that. It's this overlay of just bubbles coming up, just like so. So this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to actually click on this, and I'm going to go into its blend mode. So I clicked on the bubbles after I dragged it in, go to its blend mode under here under opacity, and I'm just gonna change that to screen. And you can see what it's gonna do is gonna remove all the dark. It's gonna keep a little bit of that, that sort of light up here. But that's okay. It actually looks kind of cool in this situation. And now we have these sort of bubbles that are coming up uh, over our footage. Now, we have a choice here. We can bring the turbulent displacement up so that the bubbles as well are displaced. So if we bring turbulent displace above it, the bubbles are actually going to be displaced here, which can look pretty cool depending on how you want it. Or if we bring the turbulent displace beneath, then the bubbles will be perfectly straight. In this situation, because I sort of want to enunciate that it's underwater, I don't want them too displaced. So I'm going to have the bubbles stay just like this and then everything else be displaced. What we're going to ne do next is what I like to do on a lot of things, and that's just to sort of recreate some of the light in here. So if I go over into our, uh, our project right here, go to new item, I'm going to create a new black video, and then I'm going to rename this black video. I'm going to rename it to a lens flare and I'm going to take it and drag it onto our footage now currently what it's doing is it's just literally making a black video um, so what we need to do is actually add the lens flare on if we go to back to our effects search for lens flare and then it's under video effects generate lens flare we're going to drag that onto our black video which is now named lens flare and you'll see that it creates this lens flare now what we want to do is we want to change this blending mode to screen as well. And now we have this lens flare right here. And what I want to do with this is I kind of want to put them, uh, put it into a different spot here. So if we bring this flare center over and bring it up into the white light here, what we're doing, really what we're doing with this is we're creating this sort of light that goes across right here. Um, we can actually duplicate this and make it even better. So we'll take this lens flare hold alt to duplicate upwards, click on the top one, and then we can bring another lens flare over. So we can bring, you know, maybe one up here. And, you know, let's continue the effect. Uh, little details are really, really important with effects like this. Bring this one up, and then move this one all the way over into right here as well. And so now you can see what we've done is we sort of Underwater has these, uh, it, it does a very, it splits the light apart. And when it does that, it creates these sort of lens flares that go across. And so what we're doing is we're just sort of recreating those lens flares in our environment to make it look a little bit more realistic. And now you can see that we have the bubbles going and the lens flares are, that are moving with the water here. It looks bright, it looks animated, everything is sort of going together. And now we have this fun little underwater effect, all just from adding just a bunch of different layers on top of each other. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go and dump them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go to that subscribe button and make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.